Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Already on the street. Uh, I got some junk here. Mm. Disassembled lamp. How convenient. Maybe. Maybe not. Actually, I'm not starting empty. Picked up a couple things yesterday. Well, ah, that switches right there, that's why. Yep, I picked a couple things up yesterday afternoon while riding around doing some errands. Old bicycle, few odds and ends, garbage disposal. Actually got a couple of lead acid batteries in the truck. But I want these chairs. Ah, look, another orchid. Huh. Ah, two more orchids. Really? What's with the people throwing the orchids away? Got a nice set of car ramps there actually, which I'm going to keep and scrap mine. <laughs> hmm. Well, oh, that's fake, ain't it? Yeah, that's plastic. Never mind. I don't want no plastic orchid. Is that one fake too? Yes it is. Huh. No break of the glass. You can keep the office chair. The scrapyard don't want it. in there all right so down the road and let's see what else I can find this afternoon I think that's an electrical box might be a pool heater copper yeah I think maybe that might be a pool heater or a tankless water heater or something on that copper that was attached. Ah. Ah, something like that. All right, well, that's the way I like to start my afternoon off with. Something. Looks to be maybe... Ah. Disassembled patio table. Ooh, aluminum. Mm, starting out with a mess. Ooh, nothing wrong with some aluminum though. bungee cord. Where's the bigger bungee cords?
hopefully keep it from moving around too much. Something else on the side of the road. Hmm. Lawnmower that looks like it got buried in the sand. Hmm. Part of a grill. Partly. Possibly. You know, the old throw and go method sooner or later comes back to haunt me. Ooh, that one's got some bald tires. Uh, let me see if the handle's gonna come out. This is when that throw and go method bites me in the butt. And always happens. Hmm. Which is not a bad thing, right? like that. Plenty of room. she had to open. Snip a decord. And down the road. Goody, goody, goodies. Oh, love to see that. Didn't even put my glove on. glove on so I don't have bloody fingers Some roadside junk for the truck uh, mm -hmm. not one grill but two
go for the lightweight one first. wish that little basket would come off. Oh, you're getting up there. Oh, that's a masterpiece. Chips. Smokestack. Think this right? I'm 
try this one more time. that's it you know i went ahead and uh pulled this big smoker and the wash machine off just to make some more room um i did pull that uh, uh i believe it's a gas water heater tankless water heater because it's got four copper lines going in so i'm figuring yeah it's probably gas uh, but i pulled that off i still got some aluminum underneath there but i'll get that off tomorrow after i dump everything out because after tomorrow morning, the load goes to the scrap yard. I'll just come back and get the washer and the uh, smoker and just make a second load. You know, that's the good thing about only being four miles from the scrap yard. So we'll see what tomorrow brings. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am actually on the road heading to the scrap yard because uh, I actually overslept this morning. You know, I don't use an alarm clock. Uh, I just get up at five o'clock in the morning, just out of many years of programming, I guess. But yeah, I overslept. So I kind of missed out on scrap this morning. So I went ahead and put the washer and the, the barbecue grill back on the truck and I'm heading to the scrap yard. Now there is still a slight chance I could pick something up on the way. Um, hello, excuse me. Like that. Washer dryer combo. Is there any way I can get it onto the truck? I don't know. But I'm going to find out. to choose I'd take only the washer because it's definitely heavier late today worked in my favor all right hmm yeah
got it on there. Uh, let's clip that wire. Definitely want that. and dryer and I will leave you a piece of wood. Hmm. See small truck issues. It won't fit standing up side by side. I already know that. Somebody just lost a load. That's never good. Uh. Hmm. Oh, is that door getting caught? Yes, the door is getting caught. There's got to be a way, right? Victory! Sort of. grill of course it's wet and slippery
probably like to put it on its side. stay up there I'll take that got that one well I did get something this morning going to complain about a washer dryer combo your prices right now I mean nothing wrong with that that came my glove Get it tight. All right, that's got it. All right. Well, let's see if anything else pops up before I get to the scrap yard. Right. We made it. Nothing fell off. <laughs> so let's make some crash, right? Ah. Trip, fall, kill myself. Actually, sleeping late worked to my advantage today. Oh, I love it.
Beautiful. about spent. Remember where all the bungee cords are. one that tried to escape. All right, well, let's get in line and get a ticket. All right, that's it. Back at the house, despite uh, sleeping in, yeah, 720 pounds, 11 and a half cents a pound. So yeah, it paid me $83. Not bad actually for uh, sleeping late and uh, getting out of bed really late. Um, $83 in my pocket, had a pretty good morning. I mean, despite just heading to the scrapyard, picked up that washer and dryer. Uh, I don't know if the camera actually caught it. Uh, while I was loading that, I heard a crash off to the road off to the side just outside that little apartment place and yeah somebody had uh, lost something off their load looked like a bicycle and a piece of sheet metal so proper strapping technique you know um but a pretty good morning anyway 
Some stuff yesterday that uh, tankless hot water heater, take that apart and get the copper. Got a little bit of uh, aluminum, a few wires for the horde. So pretty good day. But that's going to do it for me, folks. So until next time.